Okay, I just figured out a feature, um, well, I even forget what it's called, of how to do variable data printing on the fireys, which I knew it was always there, but I always had different ways of accomplishing that. But that's happened to me with other pieces of equipment, like the collator. So I've owned this for four years before I realized what the fun button does. This guy right here. Click that button, and it automatically speeds up both the tower and the collating unit to be as efficient as possible. That's awesome. And I mean, it can like double, triple your productivity, and it figures it out just by the length of the sheet and everything. Awesome. Also, this guy right here provides air. There's two little jets here that shoot air out as the sheets are coming through. It kind of creates an air cushion as they come in here. Again, I owned this for a few years before I saw that in the, in the manual. I mean, it's my own fault. I don't read the manual through when I get something, but equally, it was fun to find out. So let me show you the predicament I have uh, with doing mailings. My mailing software creates a PDF file uh, the number of pages is the number of mail pieces. So I'm working on a mailing. It's a little over 2,000 people. So it creates a PDF file with an address on each page. So it's a 2,011 page PDF file that looks like this. It's blank to the correct size with all the, uh, the address and barcode on. So what I typically do is take that and use my imposition software and stamp on each PDF page, the newsletter, so then it creates this, which is the newsletter with the address, I mean, it's ready to roll. The downside of doing that on my software is I can only do a single-sided document, so I still need to take that sheet and run the second side through. But there's a fun feature on the RIP that uh, is called VDP, and you can create a master uh, variable data printing and what's done is you have two files. So I have one file of the addresses, and then I have another two-page PDF of the newsletter that doesn't have the address. And then from that, we can just shoot it right to the press. And the, the upside of that is creates a smaller file. You just need the one two-page PDF and then the, the thousand-some page PDF of addresses because if I were to do it my old way, I would stamp it and I would create a really big document, which is, which is never good. So let's quick mess around and show you how to make two PDF documents to a finished newsletter that's ready to roll. So you can see here on my Fiery, I have uh, two files here. One elabels.pdf is my 2,411 page document uh, with an address on each page. And then my newsletter master is just the two page 1117 uh, newsletter. So what we need to do is open that one up first. And over here on the left hand side, you're gonna have VDP and create master. So there's multiple spots here and I, this was my test up for number one. So let's go to number two. Uh, Actually, no, let's save on top of that first one because I don't need it anymore. Uh, and then... That's it. Just go to print. It's going to create a master. Actually, let's, uh, let's assign the correct paper too. It's just going to be on 1117 80 pound gloss. And print that. It doesn't actually print it, but it just runs it through the rip. So it shows up there as it's printed, but it didn't actually print anything, which is what you want. Then you just open up your labels. Uh, let's assign the correct media. And we're going to want duplexed, right and left, VDP. Then we're going to go, since we created a master, now we go to use master, newsletter master. And you can preview that so you can see it's two pages. 
and then you want to enable enhanced freeform define mapping and then up here like you could do this with like a, a 10 page document where it would just do something on the first page but ours is only a two page document so variable pages we only have one and total pages per record we have two continue and it creates this down here so on page one there's going to be the variable that gets placed on top of page one of the master no variable on page two but page two of the master and that's it we're ready to roll uh i'm feeling pretty confident i think i'm just going to print it and see what happens Perfect. So that's printing both sides and putting the address in there at the same time. So that's going to save time, it's going to save clicks, and it's going to make me happy. It's great. Okay, so everything is collated, folded, and trimmed. No stitches in the side since it's going to get folded again and mailed at, at a letter rate. Um, really interested to see how other people tackle this. I don't do it that often, so I haven't really tried to automate it. But I'd be tempted to get a knife folder on the end of here, or else like a straight shooter or something to feed into the right angle. Uh, to do the second fold on this. Now I'm just going to do the tabletop folder, but uh, there's got to be a better way. have too many jobs but every time I do I feel like I need to upgrade that's fuser roller oh you gotta learn all the parts you're gonna get your little fingers greasy see that's that's the bearing this is the insulating sleeve that's the clip. Yeah, yeah, then they take it. Then they take it off. Well, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.